playing lights, camera, pants because I fucking said so. Bitches is chasing my criminals. I feel like picking low because I'm getting this green. These bitches kissing like Mr. Toe. I feel like Wu-Tang because all that I'm getting this cream. Act like I won't be playing as much as Mr. Krabs. He, uh, why, why do I set my own difficulty? I know who I am and I'm fucking hard as fuck. His name is Patrick, actually. Not nor Bubble ass. I seen a couple bubble asses in my day. And you know what I did when I seen bubble asses in my day? Nothing. I just looked at them and thought about them later that day when I was touching myself. Anyways, uh, flipping out. Flip Krabby Patties to your teammate. Are we in the Krusty freaking Crab right now? Hang on, be honest with me when I say this. Like, no, I'm serious. Are we in the Krusty Crab right now? Because I don't know if I can be here. Like, legally speaking. The Krusty Crab, right? The famous... P p I dropped a, I dropped a sandwich. What if this is how cheeseburgers were, like, manufactured, right? They were just flung around and they come out of, like, a hole? Right? Now, would that or would that not be crazy? Because I'm just thinking out loud right now. Like, you guys are free to disagree. Like, I'm not gonna be upset or anything, but like... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Clancy Brown. Piece of shit. Fuck you, I hate Clancy Brown. This is a Clancy Brown hate page. <laughs> they cast me and everything. Dumbass. I hate Spongebob and his fucking band of miscreants. You know, if I were in Bikini Bottom, there'd be different rules, you know? Rules would be different, right? If I were in charge of Bikini Bottom, you know, right after, like, we, okay, hypothetically, right, I'm gonna throw a real hypothetical, this is, now this is just like a hypothetical world, not real in any form, but if I went to Bikini Bottom to try and, like, you know, overtake rule, and, you know, there's obviously gonna be some retaliation, there's, there is a, I believe there is a mayor of Bikini Bottom, right, I believe he was in an episode or two, look out, Squidward, but there would be, you know, a retaliation, dare I say, if I were to go and just assume to be boss, perhaps a war even, for about, we'll say 20 years, um, and in this hypothetical world, after those 20 years are up, the, uh, the, the mayor of Bikini Bottom decides to withdraw from that war. I would just take over, right? Easy as that. Like, if he left, I didn't leave, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just spitballing out here, but, like, what if, right? Wouldn't that be crazy if that, like, were a thing that actually happened in the real world? Specifically with Bikini Bottom, you know? I wouldn't want that to happen anywhere else in the world. That would, that would just suck, wouldn't it? But, uh... Who the fuck is that? I want that to be a Twitch emote. You know, like when someone says something a little bit, a little, uh, you know, uh, did he mean, uh, there might be clips of this on YouTube in a later date and they'll see my chat, so I'm gonna have to, uh, you know? Does the Krusty Krab sell fries? What, a kelp fries? Haha! <laughs> fuck you, Steven Hillenburg, can't think of original shit, dumbass. Uh, kelp blank? No, it's a SpongeBob food. Kelp shake. Kelp fries, kelp chips, kelp cereal. Idiot. But I guess, you know what? You, you, you can't make them eat prawns, right? Because prawns are real things. And they have sentience. Why are we losing? That smug grin, he knows what he's doing. Okay, sit down. Today, please. Christ. Squidward's finna make the food, brother. Look at this shit. Look at this stupid shit. Who the fuck said that? Whose voice was that? Is he is he alive? If I drop one of these little trinkets here, I'm gonna write a beautiful erotica fiction novel. And I'll sell it on Amazon. There will be no plot. It will just be the erotica. 170 page long erotica scene. One box, one barrel, one sack of potatoes that I drop. That is my fault, not Patrick's. Um. 175 page erotica scene. No plot. Just, uh, the scene. I wanna close my eyes right now and you'll never be able to call my bluff on this. Middle, beginning, end. Middle, beginning, end. Middle, beginning, end. Eyes are still closed. Middle, beginning, end. Middle, beginning, end. Middle, beginning. Eyes are open. Did we win? I'm the best at lights, camera, pants for the GameCube, the Spongebob party game, and I want to take that with me. You know what? I'll, I'm not very... I don't like to boast about many things. I don't like to get an ego about most things, but... My skills in lights, camera, pants, the Spongebob party game for GameCube? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my own here. Easy. 2018. What were you doing in 2018? What did you do in 2018? Make any last longful memories? Did you do anything that defined yourself?
All right, it's a tiebreaker. My PP hard. Okay, all right, he's gonna do paper again, so we're gonna do scissors. Nice, man. Why is that so big crushed? Are you fucking joking? Paper time. You piece of shit, I'll fucking kill you. Oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. So that's how their tiebreakers go, huh? Their tiebreakers are just... Games of luck. Might as well roll a fucking dice once. Fuck you. Ah, uh, the Krusty Krab. Skipping that cutscene because I'm not in it. 21? Larry! Larry, you're a... <laughs> Inflate ass. Oh, fucking finally, dude. The inflation section. This is fucking grand. I feel like this game would be like much more fun if I were playing with people. But everyone's gone. There's no one here. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm playing by myself. It's fine. I'm not upset. You know, I'll, I'll be fine. You don't gotta worry about me. What's the next mini game, Larry? What is it? Look at Mr. Scuttle fucking around like that. SpongeBob, you fucking boo. Idiot! SpongeBob, you fucking greedy pig! <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me! No! You fuck! You made the game glitch, SpongeBob. Don't you fuck this for us, okay? We win if we do this, right? I can't see the cursor. Oh my! God. Whew, I don't know what to say to about it, but it's definitely not making me smile. I'll tell you that for free. Oh my God, dude! SpongeBob, pick up the right one. Well, isn't that a novel concept, right? Spongebob, there's a red one over here. Spongebob, there's a red one over here. Spongebob, there's red ones. Get them, get them. Why are you going to that one? Why are you doing? Spongebob, this, over here, right here, right here. No! Right here, right here, right here. Right here! We win. We win, but it's not gonna count because it doesn't... Yep. Who made such a poopy pun? See if I didn't have the pop filter on. Poopy pun, bro. Poopy pun. Patrick, what the fuck are you doing? Give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. You bitch. Give. I want the ball. I want the ball. I want the ball. I wish it were socially acceptable for people to throw tantrums like that. Still, actually, no. I really don't want that, like at all. I love fishing. I love gender dysphoria. His words, not mine. I love gender dysphoria. Uh, look how many points mommy has. It's crazy, really. God damn, babe. Who let all these balls wash ashore? <laughs> what a weird sentence. That entire just thing I just said. You know what I hate? I hate when people who have a lot of money say, well, there's more to life than money. It's like, yeah, to you, maybe. <laughs> oh, what's that? I have more money than I could ever spend. Well, it's a good thing there's more to life than money. It's like, no, it's still, it's, it's pretty important. You know, a lot of people wish they had it for a reason. Not because they feel like it, but because, you know, in an economy, it's required. But rich people are just like, well, they need to learn to, you know, go with the motions, you know, and appreciate life for what it is, yo. But it's like, no, they can't appreciate life until they have a fucking home. And, you know, the stuff they want. Right? But they wouldn't get that because, you know what? To them, money's money, right? They already have all the shit they want. But. Not many people have that luxury, right? And it's kind of fucked up just to assume, you know, everyone's on the same page as you. And it's like, why don't they understand that there's more to life than money? It's like, sure. If you have it, we're going to Miss Puff's boating school. Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff. Shut up, Sid. From Ice Age. Uh oh, squirt goo at a pony. Quick squirt. Don't mind if I do. Squirt and bump. 
Don't gotta tell me twice. Hey! Oh, did you see that? I went fucking crazy. How'd she get? In the stew. In the stew. Oh! <gasps> now that was just me being silly. That was just silliness. Don't wanna hear it. I want to be good at video game. But it's the only way my friends will love me again. Oh! Do you guys make up scenarios in your head that will never happen in real life? Because oh! Do you guys see little burglar fish in the back? What the? F oh, I wish you could look at a burglar fish. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Swagger Souls playing SpongeBob. Fuck you, Patrick. Fuck you, Patrick. Mrs. Puff is just clapping at the thought of you know death. What if we said retard? Fuck you. Fuck you, Squidward and Spinge Bill. I'm the king of the castle. You're the dirty rascal. Fuck you, Patrick. This one's pretty fun, actually. I remember this one being particularly enjoyable the time I played it many years ago. Can you just auto-tune this whole video, please? Thanks, bud. <gasps> Fuck! Squidward, what you doing, pal? You having fun? You enjoying the show? <laughs> Are you enjoying the show? And once again, Eugene Krabs takes the lead because he's just that so he's just that cool, right? He's just that cool kid who walks in class with his hoodie up. Teacher says to put the hoodie down. They have to repeat themselves because you know he has his headphones in his skull candy indie evos, put them in his head. Chewing his double bubble, blowing a big fat old bubble with it. The teacher says, the fuck is that in your mouth? Rips out his tongue, he's like, what is this? Kid's like, what do you think? It's Bazooka Bubblegum, and they're like, oh shit, you got the comic for it? The kid said, no, I don't read the comics, it's lame, that's for kids, I threw it out. Even the teacher's like, bro, what the fuck? Throws out the Bazooka Bubblegum wrapper, doesn't want to read the comics, fun little quip in there. He doesn't care, he just wants to chew the gum, you know, he just wants to be rebellious, he wants to chew that gum in his mouth. Goes to church, you know, he doesn't listen. He's on his phone during communion. They're talking about the word of God, he's sitting there on his phone, playing doodle jump, playing like those little... Like Crossy Road on his phone, you know. Talking about the word of God. And, you know, his mom's like, Jared, put the phone down. He's like, no. Pops into the bazooka bubblegum in his mouth, throws away the wrapper, doesn't read it. You know? But little did he know, on that wrapper was like, the instructions to be cool and respectful. You know? Maybe if Jared had read the uh, bazooka bubblegum wrapper, he would have known how to been as cool as he is. You know, have all the kids li like him, look up to him, like want to be him. But also be respectful, be nice. You know? Pay attention in church, you know? Like, there's some morals in there, even if you don't believe in it, there's definitely gonna be some morals that you can learn. You know? Pay attention to school, right? Like, Jared gotta listen to a science teacher, gotta listen to Mrs. Kremis, Kram right? If he doesn't listen to Mrs. Kremis in science, he's gonna flunk, right? And you know how dad gets when he flunks, right? Like, that's, that's part of the reason why he's so rebellious, right? Because of his dad, you know? He goes to see him on weekends and stuff, but still a count, right? You know, his mom's the one who brings him to church every Sunday, I believe. His dad doesn't necessarily believe in it. Kind of rubs off on Jared, right? His dad's not a bad guy, right? But, like, Jared doesn't fully understand that he's trying his best, right? So he chooses Bazooka Bubblegum, and he just, you know, sometimes, when he feels like it, because he's seen his dear old dad do it, puts a little toothpick in his mouth, too, right? It's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff, but, uh... Point is, Eugene Krabs won the race in a minute and ten seconds. Look at her eyes. They're dead. 